the KTC do water police, Officer Max? Officer Max, come in! You're in the target area. No sign of the offenders yet? Danny Bullock. Is that the fantastic yes? Danny! Danny, stop! Danny! Danny, stop! Oh, Danny! Get up! Don't worry, guys, I'm a cop. Daddy! Daddy, come back! I'm just gonna sort these fellas out, mate. Be back in a flash. Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry, Dad's just gonna talk to those two policemen, okay? I'm trying to get hold of a number. 9810907. Aggie's charging him now. Shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, How long ago was that disconnected? Thank you. Okay, thanks. How's Aggie fitting in? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, what boy? Hey, brother boy, how you been? Excellent. Long time no see. Geez, yeah. you lost some weight. What, you said I was fat? Oh, only in the head. Yeah, right. Go <laughs> on. What brings your bony ass down here? Ah, uh, Danny Bullen. He's my brother-in-law. You remember Jess? Yeah, yeah, of course I do, mate. Yeah, come in. Sit down, mate. Look, Mick, I've, uh, I'm about to charge him. Yeah, Sergeant said car theft, eh? Yeah, dickhead's prince all over the engine block. He's no genius, is he? No. Is that it, then? Yeah, pretty much. But, look, the chassis numbers were ground off. And that little operation you've got going there, it's all just a bit sophisticated for one bloke. Yeah. I reckon he's working for a ring. Did he say who? No, no. No, he said he's on his own, but it's bullshit. Look, if he can give me something, anything, a name, right? I'll put in a good word with the DPP. Otherwise, it's his fourth offence, me. He'll go down. Yeah, all right, Aggie. See what I can do. <laughs> Yeah, but, you, free, yeah, right. but you know, if you eat enough of this fish and this rice, you will get fat. You seen those servos, those big fat guys? What are you trying to say, Jack? Oh, do you want to lose something for me? I can lose a hand around you. <laughs> well, this is a waste of time. Look at this. We're working and they're eating. Ah, oh, it's easy for some. There's a the D's and then there's the rest of us, huh? That was fantastic. Mm. Mm. I do love a woman who can eat. Uh, what do you got? Ah, uh, lady mixed some handbag, a couple of wallets. No one saw anything. Yeah, he's probably long gone, but uh, we'll check around and see what we can find out, huh? Hey, guys. Thanks. 
Look, I wonder if you've seen any suspicious characters over the last uh, couple of days you've been working here. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing with the money? Hey, the days of cops eating for free are over. Yes. Cheers. Oh, every job's got to have its perks. What? Uh, you want half? Yeah, I want half. Um, all right, I'll ask these people. You go and ask those people down there. Thanks, folks. Excuse me, sir. Hey! Hey! Ugh! Some people got to learn to relax. Hey, stop! Around here, eh? It gets a bit slippery. Yeah, right. Get in the back. Why don't you tell me who you're working for, Danny? You don't get it, do you, mate? You're going to jail. You've run out of good behaviour bonds. I can't help you. No one can. Yeah, I need to make a call. Can you stop? Who are you going to call? The guy who moves the stolen cars for you? The guy that you don't work for? No, I'm going to ring Jess. Full of shit, Danny. Because your home phone was disconnected about eight days ago. I rang up and I found out. Why didn't you just tell me, mate? I could have could have paid the phone bill for you. Look, I'm sorry, Mick. You're always sorry. How's Jess gonna cope when you're in jail, mate? You ever thought of that? Look, I just wanted to have nice things, you know, make her happy. You wanna make her happy? Then you stay out of jail. You wanna do that? Then tell Aggie who you're working for. All right, what do you got? Uh, his name's Santiago, something like that. And he doesn't speak English, but he's got a female friend by the name of Meredith. She works for Dominico Seafoods. 14? Yep. 14 and 6. What was the 6 for? And we've had trouble with six him before. Bucks. Yeah, so how long before they get here? Okay, copy that. Righto, mate. What, lunch hour over, is it? Hey, home, James, and don't spare the horses. You mind telling his nibs here that we're not his personal chauffeur service? Hey, I can wait. <laughs> no, I can't wait. I've got mounts of work to do. How long, Sykes? I reckon about 25 to 40 minutes. Got the divers coming in. That's, that means two hours. Come on, let's get a cab. Hey, why get a cab? We got a boat. <laughs> You are so tight. I mean, how many cups of tea do you squeeze out of the one bag? Six, seven? I mean, who ate all this uh, rice? How's that knee, Matt? Yeah, it's all right. It's okay? Yeah. What's that? Well, oh. ten bucks for the rice, are you mad? Got it. No. Just down there. Santiago. Well, you got him a job cleaning the paths a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Santiago. Yeah, yeah, I know him. He was hanging around the place. I thought he looked like he needed a hand, so I fixed him up and got him a few cash jobs, you know? Yeah, that's nice of you. What do you want with him? He hasn't done anything. Well, he wasn't too keen on speaking to us this morning, and he didn't want us to see what was in that bag of his. Has he got a surname? Not that he's told me. You know, in his country, when the police take people away, they never bring them back. Maybe that's why he ran. Hey, huh? Matt! Crayfish, we got four of them. So how much is that lot worth? Come on, what'd you, what'd you get it for your birthday? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I never had a Billy Carton. Oh, this is, oh, this is great. That's my favourite colour too, red. Does it go fast? Yeah, very fast. Oh, who made it? My dad. My dad made it? Oh, that's great. Look, you've got a big headlight. Where are you going to go? Riding down the hills at night time? Yeah. <laughs> Are there good hills around here? Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, Danny! Great. Danny, come back! Danny, where are you going? H hang on a minute, eh? Just wait. Where the hell's he going, Jess? I don't know.
Hey, Mick, come on. Was well, that the guy you're working for? No. Who is he, Danny? That's no one, I swear, Mick. Car rebirthing's big business, mate. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Oh, yeah, well, I can look after myself. It's actually not you that I'm worried about, Danny. You're a real gentleman, Mick. Jess will be proud of you. There you go, mate. Uh, Detective Michael Riley, Sydney. Oh, great. Right. Listen, there was a gentleman standing over oh, here. Yeah. He had a beard and a suit. Do you know who he is? No, I've never heard of him. Come on, you must know him. Never seen him, don't know what he looks like. Do you want a beer or white? Oh, yeah, guys, uh, Detective Michael Riley, Sydney Water Police. Listen, uh, can I ask you a few questions? There was a gentleman standing over here about a minute ago. He was wearing a suit and he had a beard. Do you know what his name is? I to kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> What's it worth? Fifty. I heard someone call him Tito. I think it was Tito. Did you find Danny? What, he's not here? Well, does it look like it? No. I used your phone. Sorry. I rang legal aid. They agreed with you. Said Danny's going to prison. It's time for sure. Come on, you're a cop, Michael. You must be able to do something. Well, what can I do, Jess? Honestly. You know, I just can't make these charges disappear. Well, what about Max? I mean, he loves Danny. He's his hero. They do everything together. What can I do? Listen, Danny's made his own choices. Look, Jess, I know that you love him, but this guy's been dragging you down for so long now. Oh, thanks a lot, Mick. Well, you've got an education. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, you could have been anything, but you end up with this piece of trash. Oh, Look, no. Same old, same old bloody stories. I'm sorry, OK? I'm sorry. Mum would have slapped your face, Mick. Found this library card in San Diego's kit bag. Huh? Uh, the lobster thief. Yeah. It looks like you've got a well-weared felon on your hands. Oh, whoopee. Look, the books he borrowed were to learn English. Oh, it's a beautiful card, Gab. It's in mint condition. Listen, can anyone tell me how you CC a group of people right to email without showing their addresses? Yep, yep, yep. What yep. is this? You create an alias for the people you want to send to, OK? Uh -huh. And then you... Jack, his yeah. name is Santiago Musco and he is and a possible illegal you, uh, immigrant. Right. Go to preferences. Oh, wacker. Yeah. There you go. Jack. There it is. Fantastic. Jack. Yep. I want you to check him out. What? There's been a bashing at the fish market. I want you to find out if Mr. Moscow is responsible and if he's an illegal. And if he is, then we should get a hold of immigration and have him deported. Jeff, look, you've got a boat crew Jack, here. How about Jack, these... Jack, The victim was an 83-year-old woman. She was pushed in the back and she landed on her face. She's got a concussion and a broken arm. Now, I think that's just up the stakes to assault and rob. Yeah. yeah. All right? Yeah. So, the uh, card here was issued about a month ago. Uh, he didn't have any ID, so they got a friend to go there and talk. OK, what else? What's the news? Her name's Meredith Dillon. She's a gutter for the Dominico's fish markets. Well, I've had a word to her. She said she didn't know him that well. Is that, is that the lady with the ice bucket? <laughs> Sorry, Matty, has a name. Oh, by the way, Jack, tell him that his uh, books are about a month overdue. And don't start, with, with, me. don't start with me. Don't start with me. Hey, hey, what happened to Max's birthday party? I thought you had the day off. Help. I want to know if you could help me, please. Oh, OK, but I can see you're as busy as a bee doing the rosters for the third time this week. Must be hard doing work of two people, so I'll come back later. No? It's the intel reports on the car rebirthing. I just wanted to check if someone by the name of Tito rates a mention. First name, surname what? Oh, I'm not sure if it's even Tito. Good eye. What's it for? Um, it's for a friend who's working on a case. I thought I found something for them. Not if that's all you've got, darling. I understand you've been telling Officer Quinn a few porky fires. Well, maybe you just didn't ask the right questions. Or maybe we do. Santiago Moscow gave Marubra Lime your address. We know he was living with you. Is that a question? No, it's a statement. Is he still living with you? No. He's good at this, isn't he? Okay, next question. Where'd you and Santiago meet? We were pen pals. 
You know what I think? I think you and Mr Moscow were contemplating the illustrious state of marriage and he's here on a visitor's visa, right? Wrong. I do some work for the mission to seafarers. It's a Christian charity. See, not everyone corresponds just for sex, Jack. Oh, call me shallow. Spiritually bereft would be more accurate. <laughs> he got his number. All right, what about the visitor's visa? Has he got one? But you two work for immigration now, do you? Oh, no, we're much nicer than immigration. You listen to me. This morning, an 83-year-old woman was knocked down, her arm was broken, and she was robbed. Right? Now, it's our job to find the bloke who did that. Santiago wouldn't hurt anyone. And he's not a thief. He's a seaman, all right? He jumped ship. He was on the Cabiria. We were pen pals for years. He wrote to me, told me what was happening to them, how they were treating him. I thought he was exaggerating. Oh, who was treating him? The captain. Treats him like garbage. No one's been paid months. Santiago complains, so he's beaten up. His wife's back home, just had a new baby. There's no salary coming in, so she goes to moneylenders. He's bloody worried sick. Oh, she's a Christian. Oh, sounds dangerous. It should be an indictable offence. Now, look, I have got better things to do than chase your signature for a vehicle diary. It's a great pity this Santiago fellow didn't contact the Transport Workers Federation. If he was telling the truth, they would have helped him out. Give it to back. Look, I tell you what, he's got to suck it right in, right? I bet if we went round to Meredith's place right now, he'd be standing in the kitchen cooking a T-bone steak in his underpants. <laughs> Good luck getting a warrant. Hey, Sarge, ah, what's the chances of changing an RDO for tomorrow? Oh, you'd be dreaming, Gavin. I've done that roster three times this week and I'm not doing it again. Try your luck with a custody manager when she starts. Be her problem then. You know, we have absolutely no evidence this guy has committed any crime. I mean, you know, he's an illegal alien, poor guy. Four crayfish. Yeah, and, well, and then the minute we catch up with him, he, he's straight into detention. Oh, you are such a bleeding heart, right? I bet you bought one of those kids off the telly. Hello, my name's Secundo. I'm from Bolivia. Right? Hello. My name's Kinshasa. I'm from Ethiopia. Hey, Sykesy, have you heard if, I mean, when Eva's coming back yet? Well, you two think I've been dumped, huh? Well, hey, at least I'm not the only loser here because, you know, Woodsy here hasn't been getting any nibbles. And I'm telling you, if a girl sent me a sexy photo Gap. of herself, I would Gap. just... Shut up. Okay. I think that blondie's got her eye on you, mate. Who am I? Yeah. <laughs> Must think glasses, eh? I mean, if you're looking at me, I'd understand it. <laughs> Hey, how are the kids? Yeah, they're good. They're good. Now, Sandy, you been good? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know how it is, mate. You got a hamburger at home, you want to go out for steak? You got steak at home, you yeah, want to go out for a kebab? Kebab. Off for Chinese. I all the above. <laughs> so what's going to happen in court tomorrow with Danny? Ah, oh, Danny. Jesus, he's not much of a crook, is he? No. He's not Aggie, but, you know, he's a good father. Come on, mate. He's not much of a role model. He's not going to get a bond, is he? No. I wouldn't think so. There must be something you can do. Isn't there? Yeah, well, if you go cheap, uh, yes, Hey, guys, I spoke to the port authorities this morning. Oh, yeah. OK, Captain of the Kiberia sent in a report. His version was that Santiago Moscow was caught stealing. He was about to be thrown into the brig, and that's when he jumped ship. Victory is mine, saith the Lord. So everyone's a bastard. <laughs> well, that way you don't get disappointed. Mm, no chance of that with your circle of friends. Hey, <laughs> God loves you, baby. God hey, loves you. Hey, listen, don't make fun. You know, Mary probably really does believe that God actually loves you. And she'd be right. She would be. She'd be totally she right. Is. Now, Stags, aren't they? Mm. Santiago is a good man. Do you know that harbouring an illegal alien is a criminal offence, Meredith? Well, if you're trying to frighten me, it's not going to work. You don't get charged with harbouring, I've checked. OK. I say we take her down the station, question her there. What Look, you what am I going to tell you there that I'm not going to tell you here? Nothing. OK, Meredith, well, don't you be surprised if we come visiting tonight, OK? Jack, we know he's an illegal. You know, no, it's an immigration problem. Listen, Let them be the bad guys. Listen, she's deluded, no. right? The Santiago, he's a thief, he's shifty, he's already bashed an no, old No, pushed, one. and we don't even know if he's done that. Listen, he comes here spinning this yarn, which everyone's prepared to swallow. She knows where he is. I'm going to bust You're him. Oh, mate. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to get coffee. You're driving me crazy. Hey, can you get me one? Two sugars. Skim.
casa dopo lei, eh? Dove sta? Ma che non dice dove sta? Il barco, il barco, il barco. Sai dove sta il barco? Santiago! Santiago! Dove sta qui? Dove sta qui? Sei ok? Sei ok? Sei ok? Sei ok? Sei ok? Sei ok? Sei Hey, Jack. Oh. Listen, the uh, doctor said that Meredith is fine. Oh, yeah. Um, she's upstairs, so... Yeah, I'll see you up there, okay? Okay. okay. Hey, Jack. Uh, what? Words out that the uh, Spaniard got away from you. Ah, uh, he's from Honduras. Yeah, hasta la vista, baby. Yeah, right. <laughs> what happened? Oh, what happened? I stuffed up. That's what happened. What's wrong? Nothing, Jack. Oh, come on. You run 10K and nothing's wrong. Come on. Oh, my brother-in-law, Danny, he got nicked for car theft. Who's the arresting officer? Peggy Fatsius. Oh, Mr. Hundred Percent Cleanup. Well, it's bye bye, Danny. It's his fourth offence. He's in court today. So, how's your sister? Oh, she promised me not to tell Mum. The old's never liked him. It's just a mess, Jack. You know, everyone's lying to each other, pretending that everything's all right. It's like the family's breaking up. Hang in then. You must have some idea where Santiago would go. Now, the man must be desperate, right? He has no food. He barely speaks the language. You've got to be worried about him. I mean, you know him, right? Is there any chance that he could do anything stupid? Like what? Put up with getting no wages? Put up with being treated less than human? I've tried. Listen, uh, the guy, he does have a heart. You know, it might be the size of a walnut, but I'm, I'm sure it's there. Yeah, he's probably a good man deep down. Most people usually are. Meredith, do you think uh, Santiago is capable of doing something rash? All he cares about is his wife. He just wants to go home. I just... his face when he saw you two, when he thought I'd betrayed him. I was trying to get him on the road to Italy. It's a Filipino crew, they speak Spanish. It leaves tomorrow, but I don't know when. You're doing the right thing. They'll lock him up. Life sucks just the way it is. <sighs> I just wish there was something we could do for him. Oh, he's a thief and he rolled an 80-year-old no, woman. We don't know that for hey, sure yet. Now, look, you can't care every day. Oh, no, well, you know? I'm glad you sleep easy, Jack. Hey, uh, the road to Itty's getting ready to leave port tomorrow at sunrise. Uh, uh, Sykes and Quinn, they're on their way down and they'll meet immigration there, yeah, okay, okay? And board together. Also, I just had a call from Glee Police. They arrested a young guy for a bag snatching this morning and the old lady who had her arm broken as I did him as the one who did it. Thanks, Helen. Well, well, well. Yeah, all, all right, huh? all right. So now he's Saint Sandia. OK, so it's no more of our business, right? All right, OK. But look, he's still an illegal immigrant. He's still wanted for theft from his ship, and we've still got a job to do. <sighs> yeah, Riley. Hey. Hey, how did it go? What? Yeah, that, no, that, that's great news. Judge dismissed the charges, you know. That's it. I'm free. Okay, got the drinks. There you go, Mick. <sighs> He's promised Mick. He's given his word. No more trouble. Now, I'd like to propose a toast to you, Mick. I don't know what you did, but thanks, eh? Hey. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Mmm! Max! Max, cake! Quick! Come on, Danny. Why'd you decide finally to talk, did you? 
Listen, Mick, I'm not a dog. I said nothing. I told you I wouldn't shop a mate. Yeah, there's a no show on the road to Itty. Yeah, Gavin said that um, immigration went over from top to bottom. There's no sign of Santiago anywhere. Well, listen, it's a waste of our time being here, isn't it? No, look, I've asked Gavin and Matt to hang around, so um, can you give it an hour? OK, yeah, copy that. Tell him we know he's not the bag snatcher, so there'll be no charges against him on that account. And in terms of the crayfish, we don't know who owned them, so we'll let that one go. No te van acusar, Santiago. Van a uh, ayudarte. He's not going to talk to me. He still thinks I betrayed him. It's not up to you anymore anyway, is it? No, it isn't. Helen's got all the paperwork. You can give it to immigration when they get here. Got the contents here of San Diego's backpack. We've got a couple of t-shirts, uh, $15 worth of loose change, one knife, one sodden, pathetic-looking stuffed animal, kangaroo, and this. All right, that must be the wife and child. Sergeant, mm -hmm. these people are from the Department of Immigration. OK, good, thanks. Welcome to Australia. Hey guys, how are you? Hey. You had a fun filled day, eh? Oh, yeah. you try a bit of sympathy. You want a beer? Yeah, I'll have a vodka, thanks. See, see, he's just found out he's got a heart and it's giving him an officer. <laughs> I'll I tell you, poor bus. You ever been to one of those detention centers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, anyhow, you know, you can't care every day, can you, Jack? No, I deserve that. Oh, that must be me, thank you. Yeah, Riley. in a pretty bad way. He was out here with Danny when it happened. What about Jess? She was at work. I got that. Thanks. A couple of neighbours heard some shots. Car drive away. That's about it, though, mate. Danny must have been in this deeper than I thought. This car theft business. They must have thought that he talked, rolled over. 
That's why the charges were dismissed. Oh, who knows, eh? Yeah, right here. Be there in a sec. I've got a job to do, Nick. You've got a family to look after. I should never have asked you to help him. Is he going to help you thinking like that? Hmm? I should have left it alone. No time for a guilt trip, Nick. Want another one? No. No? Don't you want to sit at the top? Come here. Come here. Come here. Uncle Mick's here. Uncle Mick's here. Come on. He'll be right. We found a stolen car a couple of blocks from Jess's place. I think it was used by the shooter, mate. Wiped clean. Professional? Looks like it. Mick, listen. I've got to talk to the boy. Yeah, I know, Hickey. Right. I know. Listen, hey. The day that Danny was arrested, I followed him to this pub. I saw him talking to this guy who had a beard and he was wearing a suit. Now, someone said his name was Tito, but I ran him through cops and I couldn't find anything. Tito? There's this big-haired bog bloke called Antonello, a.k.a. Tino. I mean, it could be him. Yeah, it could be. Well, check it out, mate. Leave it with me, all right? Okay. Uh, look, Aggie, you know how the charges were dismissed against Danny? I was just wondering how you did it, mate. Come on, Nick. Just pull a few strings for a mate. All right? Well, I saw it was last time you, you copper. Yeah, a bloke called Antonella was in here the last time I was here. I've never heard of him, mate. Also known as Tino. Oh, yeah. Come on, he was here a couple of days ago, mate. Look, I told you, haven't heard of him, I don't know the bloke. You better warn your clientele that the police presence around this place is going to increase dramatically. OK? OK, Alex, where do you reckon all this stuff goes? I am, just take a punt. Hey, Mick. Hey, Al. Hey, Emma. Hey. Hey, um, Jess had to go out for a while. Said she'd be an hour, she had to fix something. And uh, Max is in with uh, Danny's mum. Oh, OK. No, no, that's fine. You OK? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay. Thanks, guys, eh? No worries. my boy. <laughs> hey. Where's Emma? Oh, she had to go back to work. Do you think Renee would like one of these? Oh, no. Do you want one of these? Yeah, I'd love one now, thanks. You know, Mick, uh, Jack thinks this could be related to some car theft racket. Well, we don't know for sure. No, no, we, we don't. I mean, Aggie's probably already onto it. Um, but it couldn't hurt to check Danny's phone, see who he's been calling. The house phone's been disconnected. Huh? Now, hang on. I lent Danny my phone earlier. Oh, excellent. I should have checked it, but Jess had it. Yeah. Don't recognise it? No, I don't. Okay, I'll get on to it. Oh, thanks, Elle. No worries. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I've got it here somewhere. Hold on a sec. Um, oh, Alex, wait there. Jeff! Hey, the new custody manager, she starts tomorrow. Oh, so soon? Oh, not soon enough for me. I'm going to start her on the scheduling, then she can do the exhibit room. After that, miscellaneous. Oh, come on, Helen. She's not a workhorse. Oh, no, I am. Sorry, Alex. Uh, yeah, look, the phone company, it says the number belongs to one Antonello Girardelli. Yep. And the address is 10 Loremont Avenue, Sandy Bay.
Mick, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Who is it, Jess? It's... What's going on here? So how well do you know this guy? I just cleaned the place. Look, Tino's cool. I like him. Why are you asking me? Did Danny know him? Yes, he, he helped him get a job once. Will you please tell me what's going on? Nothing. <laughs> what? You think Tino did something? What? Look, tell me. What were you doing here? You weren't cleaning the house. Hey, Mick. I had to pick up my money. Tino forgot to leave it out yesterday. I need the money, Mick. I'm sorry. Okay. I want you to hose down the lobster and then help Manuel with the tuna steaks, okay? Sorry. Meredith. Listen, uh, I just thought you'd like to know that they're deporting Santiago on Thursday. Yeah. Did they tell you that they were going to bill him for the cost of the flight? I got onto the MUA and the ITF. They said they'd do their best to try and get his back pay, but it doesn't sound too optimistic. What about his wife and kid? Do they know what's going on? Yeah, I wrote her a letter. And I got in touch with the Mission to Seafarers. They said that they'd do their best to help him out, but it doesn't look too good. It's a shame, eh? So you think Tino's the shooter? Oh, it's hard to say, Mick. He's capable of it. Does he have form? 18 months, 10 years ago for dealing in stolen cars. So he could be running the car rebirthing? Yeah, maybe. Hey, um... How's the boy? I don't know. And what do you do when you see something like that? He's having nightmares. I need to talk to him, Mick. Need to know what he saw. Tomorrow. Poor bloody daddy, eh? <clears throat> Didn't even open his mouth. So what did you do? What did you say to the DPP? Danny's file went missing, all right? Mate owed me a favour. What? You're joking, Aggie. Tell me you're joking. What? I just thought you'd tell the DPP that it wasn't within the public interest to pursue a conviction. Danny was a loser, Mick. It was his fourth offence. Of course it was in the public bloody interest. The DPP are morons, mate. Don't be so naive. Now, you asked me to help him. I helped him. 